Jameson's gone. Fucking bullshit. Where you put this Jameson? It's fine right where it was. It's a groovy time for a movie time. So grab your gun and grab your gun. Oh, yeah. That's right. It's a groovy time for a movie time. Welcome back to TGD Spoils. How's everybody? I'm Sean. He Jeff. He Frankie. <laughs> from the world famous Gentleman's <laughs> Den. <laughs> did you do it the right way? Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, uh, sure. I didn't know. I just uh, I thought everything was back. Maybe the screen or the thing. <laughs> what movie are we reviewing tonight? This week will be the movie Upgrade. Ooh. Let me upgrade you. Yeah, yeah was it based off the Beyonce song? Probably. He's probably listening to that song. I'm like, the you know two, what? The 2018 instant classic Upgrade, if you will. It was very good. I love finding those... Uh, Diamonds in the Rough. Yeah, so it's not. it wasn't like a super popular movie. I never heard about it. But I saw mouth. the preview a long time ago. One of those movies you see the preview and you're like, I can't wait for this to come out. And then you totally forget about it. And then I saw it on HBO and I said, this is that fucking movie. And then you just put it on your list. It was on my list. And it sits there I and didn't. sits there and sits there. I didn't because I knew if I put it on my list, eventually it would disappear without me watching it. So I How watched it. How does it disappear? Right away. Because they only have the rights for the movie for so long. Uh, Even on Netflix, if you put shit on your list, it'll fucking it'll disappear eventually. So our our friends on YouTube are going to be able to see the trailer. Watching the trailer right now. There's no sound. It's an amazing futuristic. I love all gem. The futuristic movies. But it's not too futuristic. Opens. It doesn't get crazy with too many special effects. As far as like the fighting scenes were awesome. Yeah. But the world wasn't, like, too extreme, where it's, like, most of the time it's everything in the future is post-apocalyptic. <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. <coughs> Either that or it's a, floating in the sky somewhere. You know, they're living in a mega city. Yeah. <laughs> Judge Dredd's are running around. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> but it's, it's pretty awesome. legit. I can't... I don't know what the actor's name is. Sorry. But I just remember him He from killed it. He looks like a... Prometheus. Uh, yeah, he looks like a... He looks like a bootleg version of fucking... Uh, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah. So, ladies, if you got a Tom Hardy thing, this is... <laughs> this <laughs> might be in your this, realm. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's the bootleg. Look at the camera angles of that. Just, oh, well, it's one of those. So awesome. It's one of those movies, too, that my lady was like, what's this? <laughs> and, you know, and then she got sucked into so it. So you knew it so was going to be good. As soon as she was like, what's up? Uh, what's, what's this? this? I'm like, come on, baby. This is going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> So, oh, so oh, much yeah. power, so much power. It's I love finding diamonds in the rough, though. This is this is like uh, like altered carbon when I found yes. that on Netflix. I remember and you I told just, me a while though. You're like, you need to watch I it. You need to watch it. Went, you need to I watch climbed it. to the mountaintop and just screamed to everyone I talked to. Have altered you seen carbon. altered carbon? And if they say no, I said you need to. I've told some people, and they've watched it, and they said, dude, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for showing Did me. Did I thank that. you? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, Throw so. Desperado of you. Movie didn't know. starts out, like any movie, with a love story. <laughs> Just, it seems as if it's such a, a beautiful relationship. They're well, so happy. There's always those movies where when they do a futuristic movie, there's always, like, a guy who's, like, rebelling it. Yes. You know, he doesn't have the futuristic car. He doesn't have the chip in his body to pay for all his products. Right. He's he still school. drives a fucking... He doesn't believe in... Dodge it. Charger, you know, and everyone's got electric automatic cars. American muscle. American. So, Logan Marshall Green is his name. Is that his name? Yeah. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Might be a cousin movie. of Tom Harding. I'm just saying. I don't know. And Melanie Vallejo played his wife. Spoiler oh, alert, she gets killed. Ooh. Mm. Because in any kind of love story, you need to have that momentum you of... You need uh, to have the antagonist. Yes, to where it builds so much that you believe that this guy will do Well, there needs Yeah, there needs to be a reason why he's 
so fighting back. Right. But but so fearless. Doesn't care with any regard what happens to him. Well, he really didn't care what happened to his body. (laughs) (laughs) Are we going to do these? Yeah, I guess let's do these turn power shots. All right. Let's do it quickly. Yeah, it seems like we can never get this uh, in order and on time. We're doing this to upgrade. Cheers. Let you drink. Stay hydrated. That's what our grading system could be. How many shots would you do? (laughs) Cool. Oh, yeah, that was nice. How many shots? Like uh, a shot for every time someone gets kicked in the head in a Mortal Kombat movie? No. Yeah, we can play that well, game. Well, we, let's not. How about we do take this? a shot every time there's a roundhouse kick to the face? I don't think you could. You'd make five minutes of that movie. And you'd be have to have out. like a constant pour just to just keep <laughs> pouring you'd it. you just have ah, to have a whole bar ah, like ah. that. Could all you right, just so upgrade. Right, upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened last time for the turtle. I can't uh, help it. So you guys ever seen Bad Moon? Five hundred times. And if you know a movie that, that has a little bit of bear, a little t- the teddy bear, the little boy keeps getting in trouble because Teddy did it, and he's telling his parents, "Teddy did it, Teddy did it." It's one of those um, uh, Mandela effects where I know I've watched this movie as a kid, but I cannot find it. No one could find it and tell me what it is. If it's a skit in a movie or one of those like Tales of the Crypt thing. Please let me yeah. know because I'm 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 losing it. I'm I've a seen it. Google wizard and I couldn't find it. And I'm I'm lost. Just like we never found Sinbad's this fucking movie. Genie, right? Happen. So if you know what movie it is with Teddy, Teddy did it, and he's doing all the bad shit, and the kids getting blamed for it. Please let me know. I appreciate it. I couldn't I couldn't tell you how much I would be grateful. So into this movie upgrade. All right. So he's working on obviously like we explained before. He's old working on an old car. school car. He's got engine grease on him, like a real American man. That's right. And he asks his wife, who's got all the technology, you know, pulls up self driving car. Yada she works yada. For a, tep- a tech company. She does. She does. A She's tech very company. tech savvy, unlike me. And then the ball starts rolling. <laughs> Where Frankie lost the movie right at the beginning. <laughs> What so he's f- got to deliver that car that he fixed to this billionaire rich. playboy. Of course, rich motherfuckers got to, you know, he, a classic. In all honesty, drive, he looks like uh, bootleg Jared Leto. Yeah, from, from Fight, Fight Club. Club. Yes, I want to break something beautiful. <laughs> I want to break something beautiful, is that what you said? Yeah, I know that's not the line, but fuck off, all right? Mm-hmm. Nice try, though. <laughs> Swing and a miss. <laughs> Mandela effect. You wanted to do- destroy right something line. beautiful, all right? Okay. Yeah, there we Sorry. Go. All right, car a little bit fucking on their tipsy. ride home in the in the uh, new futuristic car. You know, From shit starts malfunctioning. Yes, obviously. After, after he delivers this beautiful car to the billionaire. Yeah, the Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. Yeah. Yes, it w- actually it was nice car. Was then they had a conversation, and she finds she knows who the billionaire is. He's the president of a rival company that she works for. Yeah, he didn't look too happy when he found out who she worked for. It looked for. like he was going to start crying throughout yes. that whole goddamn movie. Yes, yeah. holding tears back. Like like he zipped his dick in his pants and he was just <laughs> <laughs> just making his way through life. Please. Just, oh, I can't take these big steps. <laughs> <laughs> Every move it he made, his pubes were just ripping. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. So as they're driving home in this futuristic car, that's got to be so convenient because you don't have to drive. You sit back, relax. What could go wrong? Go home. Right. I would trust it completely. Automatic. I mean, I watch people sleep in Teslas all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the ones I'm flying by on the highway on the way to work. Get the fuck. And he's sitting there drinking his coffee. Uh, yeah, bro. Uh, eating his sandwich. I'm not driving. It's a fucking car. I'm just waiting for the computer virus to hit those. They all just turn fucking hard left. Everyone what do you them. know? An upgrade? There's a virus that hits the car. It gets exactly. hacked. It gets hacked. And it goes a different direction in an un- Into the savory ghetto, as neighborhood. the late Rick James would say. And at that point... Back to the ghetto you go. It looks as if they're going to get mugged. Kind of. It looks like they're getting carjacked almost. Maybe carjacked. I, well, their car flipped over. They yeah. got dragged. They get dragged out of the car by some hooligans. Ruffians. Just Shenanigans. Oh, and the wife gets shot. Oh, boy. But they have technology where there's flying... Uh, like drones. Drones that would 
go ahead and, and video record everything and have evidence and any kind and of they have, law. You know, the identity things. Right. So Face scanners. But all technology could be hacked. All so you can get around it. that. All of it. Yeah. So <laughs> there's no proper identification. <laughs> <laughs> able to be made great great response yep. Yep. yep sean love this movie i you know what i did ex- start getting excited why are you so monotone tonight <laughs> i touched I his thigh he's a little upset one pbr and you put that flannel on and you'd want to go to- <laughs> <laughs> if you're not chopping a tree you're not happy no, it's not the- no, on, I'm, I'm letting you guys get into the story i'm yeah he put his well two you cents watched in. it too he put his yeah. two cents in I'm, yeah i'm remembering it very slowly because <laughs> the first kind of 20 minutes of the movie i was dealing with bella screaming and yeah we could barely hear the first i watched I it i got the luckily. gist of it yeah you kind of got, got the gist of, of it. it yeah so as soon as I, I'll, I'll just the just both I, I'll, I'll I'll jump into the I'll jump into the conversation once we get to the part where I was fully in depth into the movie. Sean okay. was sleepy in the beginning. All well, right, no, so they that, they I, shoot and they kill his wife in front of him, right in front of him, and then they shoot him in, in the, the neck, the spine, the spine. They sever his separate spine. that mm-hmm. shit. He can't move. But he has to watch. He wakes his up in the hot. Yeah, he had a back injury. He has to watch her take. Doctor said breath. he needed a backyotomy. It was spinal. <laughs> now I know why that motherfucker <laughs> smoked so much weed. Spinal. Had a broken back. Spinal. Spinal. <laughs> <laughs> so he wakes up in the hospital. Mm-hmm. Quadrupe- quadriplegic. Paralyzed. Can't, Can't move. move. Can't do it. Can't feel his dick anymore. Nothing. Nothing from At that the, point, pull the plug, shoot me. As it looks, me. he can't do nothing from the neck down. Nope. So he's in a chair, and obviously they have all this futuristic technology that could help him. and Makes know. shakes for him and shit. Right, he just talks like to Alexa's ass cousin. <laughs> yeah. Give me, give me my orange juice. <laughs> I, want, yes. I want, and then he, you know, he even tries. Well, you see how sad he looked? I wouldn't eat that green shit that machine poured either. Right. No. Nope. the Ooh. fuck out of here. And it puts it in a straw. Food. My jaw's not broke. I can still chew. Right. I want a steak. <laughs> fucking. Give me a fucking steak. We <laughs> steaks every night. God. it would be a 400 pound quadriplegic. At that point, I don't give a fuck. I want to. I want to suck the Twinkie fillet out. I don't know what the fuck. It Twinkie. would. It would suck so bad, but no one could tell you anything. No. That. Like, hey, all. can you get me a steak? No. I Bitch, can't. can you get me a steak? I can't exactly move here. Right. What are they gonna tell you no? Well yeah, if you didn't if you didn't go shopping. Well you're fucked. So he gets out of the after he gets out of the hospital, goes home, his mother's taking care of him, the house is all set up for his And he tries to get his medicine administration a little Well he tries to kill himself. He tries yeah. to off off himself with the PM medication. Yes. So the robot gives him the medication and he just keeps asking for it, asking for it. But bef- again. Before that a a scene that I pretty much think that would I would do if I was in that situation is his mom's washing him and he just starts crying. Oh Cause, yeah, because I would be... realize you're just a fucking head now. Yeah, yeah, and it, it was kind of the moment where it just finally well, all it's, it hit him. It's sad yeah. to be a burden to someone else like that to to have to well, depend well, yeah, on someone thing. to yeah. change their life to help you to where you were fully dependent and in a probably predicament where you would help your family out. Yeah. And now he realizes he can't do that. Not only that he watched and his wife get murdered and take her last breath in front of him, the anger inside him that he can't release in any which way has got to yeah. be just un fucking believable. Well, then of course you know they go. He goes to the police station and they don't have any answers for him. No, nothing. No. They never do. Right. <clears throat> We're working pig. hard on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're out there. Mm. We're finding we're doing information. It. We're doing it. We'll do everything we can. <laughs> I mean, she's she's trying. We're doing everything we can. Hey, Johnson, you got more of them cream-filled donuts over there? <laughs> she does <laughs> offer, though. She says, by all means, if you think you can do better and you could help, please do. I can't even walk. He tells her, yeah, I can't even walk. How am I going to help? In all honesty, he should get four, he should have got four-wheel drive on that wheelchair and just... Guns on it. They Realistically, <laughs> though, I, you know what I mean? Just, just load it out like, like some Tur- machete. Yeah, 
like the super wheelchair, and all he would have to do is just drive around the streets. He doesn't even need like, to get uh, twisted metal. Yeah, <laughs> there we just go. drive oh, around God. shooting people in the shins. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that be considered a drive-by? I st- Oh shit! <laughs> More of a roll-by. <laughs> Fucking hey, we're going to hell. Yes, two hundred percent. Think of all the stories we'll tell. All exactly. right, so we'll just call him um, Blonde Jared Leto from Fight Club. Yeah, yeah. the billionaire extraordinaire. He gives him an opportunity. But Says really, I got like, some would new you technology not be able to help the police, even in that chair. I would be like, give me the evidence. Let me know the leads. I want. I would try well, to figure. In it all out. honesty, why doesn't he just be like, okay, I remember their faces. How about you get a sketch artist in here? And let me fucking. Boom. I remember that dude's fucking weird face. Looked like a rat. Looked like a rat with a mustache. <laughs> he looked like Hitler. A uh, little, <laughs> little bit like Master Splitter, I'm just Yeah, he, say. he looked like if Hitler was a came back as a rat man. Yeah. That was him. Mix it both, bro. That was him. For Take sure. Combine the so, shit. Then he gets an opportunity of a lifetime. Well, the billionaire's got this technology that could... In, let me Make just him say walk this. again. The fucking billionaire walks in hunched over. Like, he's got spina bifida, it looks like. He's all hunched over. And he don't like, get out of his house much, man. He's he, one of those he's, weird billionaires. He's all in there fucking nervous. And it's like... You kind of tell something's up, but... <clears throat> yeah, well, yeah, the whole time I'm like, dude, what the fuck? But don't fu- you think he was... Give this motherfucker a Xanax. Don't you think he was out. nervous with the earpiece? As later you find out. Yeah. Right. So then you know why he's all fucked up. Yeah, so he offers him this opportunity to where he could say, I can give you the abilities of no man on this planet and make you a super being and have you walk and be better than your old self. Yeah, and then he's kind of like, what would your wife want? Right. Oh, you bastard. So So he puts that guilt card that... She wouldn't want you to be just to give up, to take this opportunity to be able to, he, in his mind, he find him. Mm-hmm. his wife's killer because that's what she told him. By all means, if you think you can do better, help us. He straight up honey dicked him. So when he got the opportunity to come and help in, in a way to find the people that were involved, he takes it. Just like anyone would. You give the chance to someone that in that position to be able to walk again. Oh, like I said. And I plus, he went, he, plus, he's the perfect guy to text to uh, test out his Right. But shit. I would love that if this actually does happen and there is something like this in the future. There obviously has its flaws as in the movie, but I do hope that they could find some way to help people. See, the problem with this people. is, okay, let's say someone's blind. And they come out with some new eyeballs that are better than your eyeballs. Mm-hmm. People with regular eyeballs are going to be like, I, I want, want those bionic eyeballs. I want those new eyeballs. Like if some amputee from like the war or someone lost in a car accident, he gets some new bionic arm that's faster and stronger than a regular arm. Some dude's just going to be like, I want arms like that. Fuck these regular arms. <laughs> right. He's going to be driving down the highway real close to the edge with his arm out the car just trying to rip that fucker yeah, off. Like death proof. Yeah. That leg's going to go flying. That's what I mean. So. Oh, that's a rough, rough <laughs> That's scene. a rough crash, yeah. <laughs> that tire Don't know that All right, so he has the surgery. And he gets the implant of a chip into his spine that controls his brain wavelengths to the rest of his extremities because he even asks he's like who's controlling my arms and legs me or stem it's called and And he he does say you are in control you send the signals and you tell stem what to do and the computer does it yeah it's basically reattaching his spinal cord yes with computer it's it's giving the, the electrical impulses to make your body move through the computer chip now yeah but at this point now he is quicker and faster. Well, he doesn't know that yet. Yeah, we don't know that yet. He's just able to to walk, to move. He starts walk, walking, then move. he starts running, and then when he's and he gets his mobility. There's a small training montage. And, a, yes. and on the on the side <laughs> note, how he ca- dude looked like a fucking paraplegic that just started learning to walk again. Yes. Yeah, very, his, very. the acting was very even when he's like his fingers. Just yes. the way that he moved his 
his fingers yeah. were it was it was really well yeah well done it made but, you feel like when he stands up and he walks and he doesn't move his neck he just his shoulders move then his head moves it's just yeah it was it, he played it very well it yeah was fucking it, really good surprised the shit out of me like he sits down and then all of a sudden stem starts talking to him and he thinks he's losing his shit well he yeah he so he gets back home and first of all they leave a box of evidence in files on a table, like he and can. He's a, and he's a quadriplegic. Like he can look through this shit. Right, that's got to be killing him. Right <laughs> oh yeah. There. Side note: No one knows that he has this. I was stem. just about to say. So part of the stem is no yes, one to sign a uh, confidentiality, NDA. an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement that they can't discuss it or he can't disclose. So he has to pretend it. he's still in the wheelchair, but at home he can move around and be as yeah. free. Yeah. But after going through this as you said training montage where he's learning to walk and be himself, he finally does get to go home and as he's finally home and, and he sees he, the evidence thing. Yes, he starts going through it and they're going and he's looking at it and he's not seeing everything as as he probably could if he was like a computer analyzing it. Well, yeah. And then all of a sudden, the voice in his head starts talking. And he's like, who the fuck said that? (laughs) And he's losing his shit. He thinks someone's there or something. And he's drinking drinking whiskey, and he's like, looking at it, he's like, I'm going fucking insane. (laughs) And come to find out that this computer chip has actually been there the whole time, able to speak with him and communicate through his brain. It was just learning the... He was sending vibrations to his eardrums. Yes. Because he even asked, he's like, can anyone else hear you? He said, no, only you. Only you, because he's sending these signals that go through his entire, his own body. And this is when it, the movie was, like I said, I was super pumped to watch this movie. And then, like, the whole beginning, I was like, I've seen this movie before. Yes. Yada, yada. But then as soon as Stem started talking to him, I was like, oh, fuck. This is is when it starts getting fucking good. Right. And it was funny. It was the... uh, little bit of a comedy relief in it with the back and forth, you know? It was almost Venom-esque. Yes. Right, because no, yes. no one else could hear. Tom Hardy. So he's just yeah. like, he's out in public like, shut up, shut up. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was in all honesty, not bootleg Tom Hardy, and Tom Hardy both did great jobs of having yes, both yeah. <laughs> He also did a great job as the twin in, I can't think of the movie. Legend. But, yes. So, <clears throat> the thing that I, gets me, though, is... He, he starts looking through those files, and STEM helps him start noticing things that only STEM computer analysts could determine, where they find a tattoo that's well, one so of the, minute. Uh, before in, that part, one of the funny parts was that he, he told STEM to shut up, and then he, he just stopped talking. So then he walks slowly over to the couch, because STEM's like, I can help you. I noticed something in the files. He's like, just shut up. And, and so he, he sits talk. down on the couch and he goes, am I crazy? And like nothing. He's like, okay, you can talk now. And he's like, I analyzed these things. And yes. <laughs> there's right. a bunch of stuff that you didn't notice. <laughs> to where he even has them sketch out a tattoo that they can't use with the police. Because he can't explain how he sees it. Well, that was another fun part, too, because he's like, just relax your arm. I'll draw it for you. Yes. <laughs> and then, like, dude, he's just like, <laughs> drawing it like boom. a computer. Yeah, like a printer. Yeah, it was yeah. drawn like a printer. <laughs> it, was, it was insane. It was he's like, okay, cool. you have full control now. <laughs> yes, you have full control again. It's a- <laughs> like, what full the control fuck? Again. How fucking weird would that be to just be watching your arm do something and you have no control? Yeah, not even doing it. How weird would it be when you're like, oh man, I really want to jerk off? Oh, I'll take over for you. <laughs> jerk me off. Now that's, <laughs> called, <laughs> that's right. called the stranger. There's the future. There's the future. <laughs> There's the we future. haven't thought of this. You know, some, fully of, you know some perverts in his mom's basement working on this jerk off technology. Right. <laughs> just, how can it's I like get a video with the guy with the robot arm? Yeah. <laughs> just a pop pop blah 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 on the fucking table <laughs> he had his arm set on jerk off so this thing's That's name was stem and this guy he's gonna be called what jerk <laughs> <laughs> i don't even remember what his yeah. name was travis was it or something like huh? that what was the dude's name in no i meant like jerk off sorry oh. it was a bad joke that didn't go yeah, go well. like a brick well, <laughs> we'll just skip over huh anyway next the movie he draws out and he finds his first clue to where he's going to go and, and then confront they look, the they, first person that was part of that gang. Yeah. 
The four people that killed his wife and made him a paraplegic. So, guy so he won. wheels his way. Yeah. <laughs> Which is... You got to stick with it, but... Wheels his way. Parks, parks and locks his fucking wheelchair. Yes, like, he does. Lock chair. <laughs> Why would you ever need to lock it? You're always in it. So... You're always in it. Well, I wonder if it locks for someone. Yeah, but I mean, you need a lock. Oh, well, yeah, because someone could just run up and grab you and chuck you out What of if there? you're in traffic Still. going uphill? <laughs> no, you don't need to have an alarm system and lock your chair if you're clear. <laughs> you got to lock your chair. In. No, that, that was... It's a safety mechanism. I was pure for just comedy relief in that movie. You don't lock a chair if you're fucking Dude, in lock it. chair. So you. he locks it up in the ghetto. All right, I'm sorry. Was, yeah, but even wheelchairs now have locks on them. <laughs> not voice activated ones. <laughs> well, not yet. <laughs> well, I'm hoping they get an upgrade. I'm just saying. Because this chair was legit. <laughs> well, now you just. Locks. What do you. What do you. Th- do you think just because he's in a chair he can't do things? What if they go camping, you know? And they, they're on a little a, bit of an incline, and, and he he's wants tired to and wants to go to bed. He's got a locked chair. Locked chair. The chair don't move. He sleeps What if in the he chair? wakes up and his chair's halfway down the mountain? <laughs> he wakes up. Oh, shit. Fuck, I should have locked that chair. I think, <laughs> just smoke coming <laughs> off the wheels. I did, I'm saying it just doesn't need to have an alarm system on it. And it didn't. It had a locked chair. Locked chair. <laughs> did it go right. boop, boop? I thought it did. <laughs> Maybe it did. I thought it did. It was, <laughs> and it locked. So he walks into said bad guy's house, bad guy number one. Which is not home. He's not there. So he's, he's, so not, just, he's not doing He conveniently bad just left. Yeah. Always. <laughs> Every movie, always. There's convenient, convenient leaving. But why do they always come back so soon? Where the fuck did they go? Always. It's like, did you literally go to the corner and... And he went, oh, Grab fuck, I forgot car. my wallet. Right. I forgot my bag of bad things. For bad guys. For bad guys. My bad guy's bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's got guns and knives and... All kinds uh, of bad guy stuff. A bad, bad you know it's got to have shit. duct tape. Duct yeah. tape is like number duct one tape, for bad rope. guys. Rope. <laughs> what am I going to need this fucking rope? All right, we'll get into that another time. <laughs> Why the fuck do we need all this rope? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make a quick comment. I watched uh, the original Halloween the other day. So good. And when they go, the the girls are all going out, and her dad's the fucking sheriff. Yeah. And the hardware store got broken into. And they just pull up, and he's like, yeah, nothing. They just, the only thing that got stolen was a, a couple knives, a, a rope, and a mask. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you know your inventory that well, huh? But no one thinks knives, knives ropes, ropes mask. and a mask. Oh, like no. Everyone's just like, that's all that was stolen was a mask and, you know, a couple knives and a rope. I was like, doesn't mean this anything. doesn't put up any fucking red flags. Well, you know, it's only like $25 <laughs> and stuff. It's, I'm not going to file a report. <laughs> Thanks, officer. It's... <laughs> it's just probably some kid out there. Ah, oh, yeah, these kids nowadays. These damn kids with their knives and ropes. <laughs> Dan themselves. Fogelberg. <laughs> hula hoops. Fucking hula hoops. So he's in the trailer. We'll put in quotes. It was a trailer, right? Yeah. No. Double wide. No. No? What are we talking about? Are we talking about Halloween right now? No, we're talking no, about... No, we're done with Halloween. Yeah, I just right. wanted to get that out because I thought yeah. it was fucking hilarious how nonchalantly <laughs> they talk about... <laughs> and we're back. Knives and rope must go missing all the time. Yeah. It's it was... <laughs> <laughs> it a big bondage company. Well, why big old John take... came. He must have ran out of knives and rope again. <laughs> why did he take a mask this time? <laughs> He's into some cakey shit. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> All right, so, so I'm getting sidetracked. We're back at upgrade. He's in the house. It's the bad guy's house. Yeah, it's not a trailer. It's a house. It's a it's like a house. A one it's bedroom. like an apartment building complex area. It's first like floor. a one bedroom shit house. First floor. So he's in there and he's snooping around. I'm pretty sure it's not. But oh no, it's a it's a studio. It's a kitchen and a fucking yeah. It's, it's a in a building. He walks around by the building. It's a house, bro. It's a small house. Single family home. All right, we'll then go we'll... with single family home. Because the neighbors no, no, didn't. It's, it's straight up a bachelor anything. pad. Yeah, so baller status. He's got this. Uh, so, which I, so Stem, in his head, tells him immediately, take off your shoes. Right. So he doesn't is, leave footprints. I wouldn't have thought of that. Holla. Not at all. You should have you took him off earlier, though. He should have. He took a few steps in there. He did. 
stem was a little, little stem was, I found a stem right there. I'd be like, leave your boots on the chair, bro. Well, he's trying to see, you know, how smart this guy is. He's leave realizing he's not very smart, so he needs to help him out. Yeah. Leave your boots a on lot. the chair. You know, like the Frankie, cool. like Frankie at a party. I just, I let him wander a little bit before I'm like, yo, bro. Yank the leash back in. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with parties? Pump the brakes a little bit. All right. So looking around I'm dude's house, animal. he's taking his sweet fucking time because he thinks the guy's going to be gone for a while. Guy comes back early. Stem says, hide in that corner. Make your move. Behind the door. Make, Make your, your move, move now before it's too late. And, and what then, happened? It was too the, late. the guy turns around and just starts beating the ever-loving he just shit saw out him. of him. He was, he was this, clever. This is when the movie picks up. Gets yes. fucking crazy. First fight scene. He lets Stem take his body over, and he well, just Stem says, says, getting his yeah, he's getting ass, his ass kicked, whooped. and he's the on the ground. jump on him. He saw him in the picture, the re, the, the, the mirror. reflection. Mirror. It's not a mirror. It's a picture, and you it's can see mirror. the reflection. I promise you it's not a mirror. It's a mirror. What are we betting? Let's get, let's get a gentleman's dead bet on here. It's a mirror. What are we betting? Five hard cocks. <laughs> I don't want those. <laughs> Come on, put something up. All right, five, so he's like, he's getting his dollars. ass kicked. Right. He's getting Sandwich fucking, butt. he's basically being held down by this fucking guy. And Choked Stem's like, I can really help, <laughs> but yeah. I need your permission. To take full control. Oh, and he took full fucking control. He says he gives permission, and <laughs> let's just say. <laughs> this fucking action begins. scene is fucking amazing. The way it was shot. Like when he's on the ground the and he just shoots up the and camera and angles, everything. And then what's what's fun about it is that Stem is just using his body to beat this dude's ass, but it's like his like head. So he's watching it, and like as he's beating his ass, he's like, "I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry." sorry. Just he's like, bah, bah, "Just bah, bah, please, bah, bah, bah. please stay down, yeah. please stay down." He's like, "Stem, he's got a knife." <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> then he takes it from a boot. Now we have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 actually very well done. I, I and then surprise, surprise. Were you, how shocked were you guys at the end of this fucking fight scene? Oh, the murder scene? <laughs> God, <laughs> God. He puts the knife in his graphics. mouth and just... Knife in his mouth and knee on back ahead and makes his knee and the knife mate. And what he's trying middle. to do, though, is he's, it, it starts off as he's just trying to get information. And he puts the knife to his mouth and he says, tell me who you work for with his knee on the back of his head. And, he, and the guy basically tells him to fuck off. And at that point is where he's going to try to continue to hurt him and he says i want this to be over to stem yeah and stem makes it over <laughs> and slides but he didn't knife. think he was gonna make it that over no he wanted just to stop right because <laughs> it was getting too intense where he was about to kill a guy yeah and then he pulled the knife from his jaw through his fucking head all i thought was heath ledger you want to know how, how I, I got, got these, these scars? Because <laughs> that's exactly what he fucking did to him. Yes. His jaw is fucking hanging down. Went a little too deep. I was like, fuck, I know this was rated R, but I wasn't even ready for that no. scene. <laughs> so he fucked I think dude up. Even he both of you, say, no. I was waiting for it to happen. We're, because we're both wrong. It's a TV. His reflection's in a TV. I remember, I remember my initial reaction and i knew it was coming because i watch it before you guys so i was waiting for when he shoved the knife through his fucking jaw yeah and i, I, I just, just heard you guys go oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> that was rough it is a rough fucking scene i mean super graphic so then he's fucking standing there he's like stem any suggestions and he's like i would dust off uh Get rid of all your evidence and uh, wipe everything that you've touched. And he's like, I don't remember everything I've touched. He's like, I have detailed profiles on everything you've touched. Everything. <laughs> now, that'd be pretty cool. Talk about getting away with murder right there. Yeah, no shit, right? So he does. And <clears throat> I guess nonchalantly afterwards goes back to his chair and leaves, I'm assuming. Just rolled away. Which the police now have uh, drones that fly around and pegged his chair just happened to be real close to the so murder. they found the police found him dead and he was actually one of the people that they questioned yes about the murder so they go and look through the surveillance tapes and they see an old boy wheeling around old roller pig <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking yandering through the neighborhood and he's like oh yeah i I was there i had a lead you know you told me i could help in any way possible but it's like who's gonna think that a paraplegic murdered this murdered someone like it's not even in such a fashion right yeah so maybe if he had tread marks on his face, it'd be different. It'd be different. <laughs> Pretty sure we said that during the movie. <laughs> so he gets his first clue and and goes through the first murder, and now he has to go deeper and find to where they find out that one of the people that the actual person that murdered his wife shot her without a gun. With his hand. With his he hand. He had a hand gun. Yeah, they, they have guns in, in the arms. future. In their arms. In their palms. You load it here, and then it pow, pow, shoots out your Wasn't fucking... the shotgun guy loaded in his middle yes. of his bicep, though? Bro. Well, whatever, man. It's close enough. All right, Jesus. So you load in your bicep, and it fucking shoots out the palm of your hand. And you could have, it seems to be like a six shoot. Shick shot, shoot, shoot, Sh- shooter, shoot, shooter, shoot, shooter, shoot, shooter, shoot, shooter, 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 shooter. Second fight scene, end up at this dirt bar where all the riffraff hang out. <laughs> because they noticed that that was a place. It wasn't listed on any information, not a real no. bar. It's an underground bar. It's a bad guy bar. So Stem well, says funny. it's not a good idea to go. <laughs> What's funny in that scene is when he goes to the bar and he orders a drink. And makes the guy hold it for him. He's like, can you hold this for me? You <laughs> can help me out, bro. And then he starts talking shit. Right, instantly. Gets a shot and I'm with a straw. And then, hey. Who killed my wife? <laughs> and then he starts talking shit. Like, oh, yeah, you remember your boy? Yeah, I fucked him up. And everyone's like, how did he fuck him up? <laughs> okay, how's this guy? They're all laughing at him because he's in a wheelchair. I think he's fucking crazy. So his homies do end up standing up and say, yeah, let's go talk. And they take him out back to the bathroom. Where they're going to have a conversation with this guy in a wheelchair who can't do nothing, right? Bunch of fucking tough guys. Five of them. Pussies. Yep, well, Stem takes over and he whoops up that ass. Oh, does he <laughs> fuck some shit Oh, you up. didn't know I was a fucking ninja? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he, Stem's even telling him, I'm not a ninja. So, yeah, a little comic relief in there. And then he... Uh, so he, he's got a knife to the guy's face, and Stem's telling him to cut him, and she's like, ah, I don't think so. And Stem's he like, do you want do me it. to take over? And so he's like... You don't even have to look. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he fucking <laughs> has Stem take over, and he just he closes, fucking... Death by fucking a thousand paper cuts on this He guy's closes face. his eyes, and then when Stem's done, he's like... He slowly looks over, and he's like, oh, oh God! God. Yes. yes, and this dude's face is diced and sliced. <laughs> and like, then Stem says, he'll tell you anything you he, want. Yes, <laughs> and he does. When he asks him, he tells him. Oh, no. he sang like a fucking canary, <laughs> a sweet, sweet canary. I'll make another drink, guys. And he <sighs> gets the information needed. Wow. Oh, this fucking guy. Right? Talk so about camp. Look at my fucking... Keanu. Ha! <laughs> and the shirt Jeff's wearing can be found at shop.spreadshirt.com. Ooh. Backslash gentleman's the hyphen gentleman's hyphen I mean, Ben. You can, you can we fucking got a, peacock. We got a bunch of merch <laughs> there. You should go check it out. Encouragement. And with that ad being yeah. said, back to the show. <laughs> so after he cuts the fucking ever living shit out of this guy's face, he gets his information and he dips. Yes. After killing every single one of those guys in there yeah and he just rolls his chair out of the bar like <laughs> well but then he's gotta run remember cops are coming as he's rolling down the road but he leaves the bar in his chair like nothing ever happened and he well, says all the it? drinks are on him what was funny is that after they're hearing all the commotion you know they're thinking that the guy in the wheelchair is getting his ass beat he just only the wheel- guy in the wheelchair just, just comes, comes rolling, rolling out yeah he says the dude in the back says all the drinks are on him and then he gets, yeah, he gets in the chair and cops are coming and he gets the fuck out of there. <laughs> Electrolytes. He gets up and 50, runs. 50, 50. Locks yeah. the chair so and some fucking guy that was in a wheelchair. An actual wheelchair. An actual wheelchair gets out of the actual wheelchair and goes, sits He in. didn't lock the chair. He gave him the chair, didn't he? Yeah, he well, said, this is important this. to note that the billionaire guy um, that put the chip in him 
can track him and monitor because obviously if you have a billion dollar chip you're going to monitor so what's happening is he wants his technology no one's supposed to know about this technology but he's using it to find his, the killers of his wife and the billionaire guy kind of knows this and tells so, him to stop or he'll shut him down so he's trying to shut him down and what you would think though would be really simple like you'd just be like <laughs> off and but it wouldn't no, work anymore no it takes about a half an hour yeah <laughs> different programs you know you gotta you gotta gotta, gotta get through the firewall right so he's stem tells him where a hacker is to go to a hacker to get this reprogrammed so that way i found a hacker on the dark web yes and already knows everything to do which sets him up which once again if stems on the internet too so you just be like yo stem (laughs) Pornhub, page three (laughs) right is that just like right in your fucking eyeballs watching in your head Ah, oh, he might be picky though. He might be on page fifty-seven. Right, keep scrolling. <laughs> there were the comments they wrote on this one. I'm not gonna watch that. <laughs> so they find some bootleg fucking hacker as his body starts shutting down one limb at a time, and he gets into the hacker's place with what one arm being able to move pretty yeah. much. She or he or shim, whatever. whatever. You don't really know. Clocks in and starts fucking. Hacking the chip. Doing exactly what he told them to do because he wrote it on his arm. As homeboy that killed his wife and other henchmen is with him going to get him. Yeah. Coming for him. They know where he's at. Because they found their friend at the bar that just got paper cut up. Diced up like coleslaw. And they tapped into his eyeball. Yeah, which was a really... Weird. Off-putting scene. And then he yeah. sneezed on the bartender, <laughs> and Frank, he's like, yeah. "I'm out." <laughs> That's when I kind of did. I was like, "What?" The that fuck? part to me, was, I felt the same way. That was the corniest part of the whole movie. All he like, needed to do was lift his hand and shoot him in the face, and I would have been well, like, yeah, "All right." He was sending them thinking nanobots instead. That so yeah, the, uh, it was just letting this. you know how serious these motherfuckers are. So this dude's so badass. The dude starts talking shit to him and saying, "No, he's not like gonna help him or whatever." And this guy's got a shotgun pointed at his face. And this henchman just goes ahead and goes. No, it's the main boss. Oh yeah, the main, the main bad guy. He, he sneezes and he sends nano nanobots, fucking bots that are flying through the razor air knife and nanobots. <laughs> And it goes inside this guy's mouth and nose, and then he starts choking and choking and dying. Because his face, inside of his face, just got cut up by a bunch. That of That was my lives. least favorite part of the movie. I agreed with you. When I that wasn't happened. happy. Yeah, I, I was like, happy. what? Okay, so could have just shot him in the head and been seen. Hacker is now. Seen. Hacker's rebooting him. Rebooting him while they're walking up the stairs, loading shotgun arm. Plus, the billionaire sent two guys to go and retrieve him because he's trying property. to shut him down. Yeah. So they have a tracker on him. They're going to go get him, bring him back to the billionaire's house to fucking punish him. <laughs> I don't know what, they, what were they going to do? But Stem You're doesn't naughty. want to go back to his master. He wants to be with his buddy now and help him and get off the tracking and be a free person. So, so he's trying to help him so much and, and be there for this you, guy. To be you would think so. He's there, bro. Right. So. Spoilers. Last Another minute. Burp, homeboy goes boots ahead back and boots up. him back up. Well, he's, yeah, he's like barely moving. He's like, stem, stem, stem. And then. Finally, stem wakes up. Starts kicking fucking ass again. Taking names. Kicking wholesale ass. In which they're in a. Um, Warehouse. Yeah, well, it's more like a crack house. It looks like an old apartment building where then it they like have a, a bunch of different people that doing are virtual set up reality. Virtual reality, and, and she puts them on IVs, and and they just fucking VR. It up. They live in VR. It was like the scene I from Inception. Yes, it was I, crazy. I can see that happening with you know, there's kids that are dying because they've played twenty eight hours straight of Fortnite. Right, with no. They come here. And, they come here to sleep. They come here to live. to be woken up. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's, there's <laughs> Inception. Yeah. Inception. So, Chase and Sue's, our hero is doing flips and shit while he's getting the shotgun blast at his asshole, running away from the bad guys. 
And of course, they go up to the roof. Yeah, you always go up to the roof. You got to, bro. That. You're running Just away like from every someone. horror movie. Up. Yeah, that seems better. So, shotgun arms right behind him. <laughs> shotgun arms are coming. <laughs> pew, pew. To a badass fight scene on the roof. Yeah, and... And Stem said he's going to end this one quickly. <laughs> yes. And he fucking blocks the shotgun arm so his hand is facing his face, and he Kurt Cobain's himself. Now... Just blows his fucking head off of his Which shoulders. I'm confused on that part, because if you're controlling your own hand that's a gun, would you pull the trigger if it was... Facing Stem you? hit the trigger that's in his arm. Stem knows what's up, bro. Yeah. Uh, he fucking hacked uh, that shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, homeboy gets his head blown clean off by his own hand shotgun, which was another clean. scene where I was just like, just That oh. scene was fucking amazing. I mean, it was, oh. Dude, it was buckshot from like a half inch yeah. away. Someone yeah, bashed was. a birthday cake with a baseball bat. It, it reminded me of all. Not a two liter. It reminded me of all the. Uh, <laughs> The old uh, trauma movies, like, uh, what was it, <laughs> fucking uh, Toxic Avenger and shit, like how the heads would explode. That's Just basic. ridiculously funny. Just, so, like, watermelon with 50 M80s and it just That's fucking got his head like. It was intense. So then, you know, number one bad guy comes out and sees his buddy. Number one. Number one. So now the four guys that killed his wife, three of them are now dead. It's only one. Only there one left. Only be one. The Highlanders left. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh fuck. Oh, Stem gets into Homeboy's head. You can see it's starting to break him down, because he just murked three people. He doesn't want to be a killer. No, he doesn't want to kill. But no. Stem's very efficient. <laughs> very efficient. That's an understatement. So. He has the internal battle, and Stem Stem basically says, you know, we got to finish the job. Because they know who he is, and they're not going to stop coming for him. So and they're, they they're going to kill everybody in his family. So now he kind of basically jumps it up to where not only do you have to kill the people that murdered your wife, but now you know that those henchmen that came were the same guys that work for the corporation and that they gave you stop Stem. us. So now you're like, well, fuck, I got to go after. Well, what's fucked up is that's this is when he finds out that since he got rebooted, Stem can take over whenever the fuck he wants. Right, he's hacked. Yeah. So, so he doesn't even need him anymore. No. He's basically just using his body as a body. He's using his body. So and he's Stem like, I doesn't. don't want to I don't want to do this anymore and Stem's like, you don't have a fucking choice. Nope. <laughs> because he tells him these guys are going to come and take me from you and Stem wants to stay in his body. So the cop comes to the house again and uh questions him about the murders and she ends up leaving a recording device in his pocket in his pocket of his jacket. And Stem couldn't find it because it was analog right. technology. You don't think, mm -hmm. though, that Stem would have noticed her moment, her movement, and where she was like... But then the cop listens right in and hears him talking to himself. And his mother telling him not to go. You come home, you covered in blood. <laughs> so <laughs> she kind of knew. <laughs> so, but what does he do? He goes and gets in his badass old school muscle car. The cop's outside waiting for him. Because the cop wanted to buy the car earlier in the fucking movie. Yes, he's like, nah, I'm going to keep it. She's even a bitch like, well, you really don't need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy. Right? Yeah, that was... Like, what the fuck? This is my like, car. Bitch, not, I'm, not, I'm definitely not selling it not, to you now. Now that I remember that part, I'm glad she gets what she gets, a fucking bitch. Right? <laughs> Well, because then after that, after he leaves in his badass car she wanted, of course she's going to chase him. So she's chasing him, and now Stem, who's never drove before, isn't that good at driving. He's letting him take over. He, he goes and says, Gives him the power. You have full control again. And then he starts driving his car like a badass. And like a motherfucker. Which I'm kind of a little bit upset because I thought he was just going to dust that bitch in her cop car and she's stuck with him the whole time. So Yeah. Well, well he couldn't hack her vehicle. No. Yeah, but he she could had hack, an analog vehicle. He could too. hack other cars. Right. And he does. He does. And send some car in reverse full speed like you wouldn't believe coming right down the center <laughs> lane. And that Ford Taurus never stood a chance. No. <laughs> So he last minute sees the car. All the cars are getting out of the way, and he sees the car, and he moves. She wasn't fast enough. 
she wasn't ready. No. Smoked. Smoked. Wham. All right. That car's gone. He's on his way to go kill henchman number one. And billionaire. Genius boy. Well, we don't know that yet. Don't know that yet. Easy now, bro. Gotta get to henchman number henchman one number first. number one. The guy who killed All his right. wife. But he does know. He does know. Who knows? He knows that he has to kill the guy that has control of the chip. Because they're going to constantly come for him. He doesn't know until he, after, after, after henchman, henchman, henchman one. number one, he listens to his phone calls. Right. And he's, le- yeah, he's leaving them the yeah. voicemails. But, but I mean, Stem already said we have to end this. Well, yeah, Stem already knows what the deal is. He said we need to finish this. He was talking about these guys. He wasn't talking about Billionaire Boy. See, I thought he was because the Billionaire Boy would always come to try to retrieve his property no matter what. Well, no. he already took care of the tracking device and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, she didn't give a shit anymore. That's why, remember, Homeboy was crying in the corner in right. one scene. But he did set it up to kill Billionaire Boy after he killed this guy. Yes. Yes, because he in a yeah. gruesome fashion yet again. I still feel <laughs> you know, that there are no there are no subtle deaths. No. in this fucking I mean, movie. No, they uh, are fucking <laughs> rough. Deaths. So there's a battle scene because this guy has mechanical parts he in is, him as well, but yeah, not as the, advanced as Stem. Why didn't he sneeze on him? He tried. He moved out of the way. He didn't want to. Remember, he was trying to convert him. He's yeah. like, "You are one of us now." You are the you are better than human nah. beings. Nah. So he didn't even want to kill him. But then they were getting into the battles. Stem couldn't help. Old boy came through at the end. With his own vicious fucking scene. Yeah, that was rough. That one was rough. It was a good fucking fight scene. I I love the way these fucking fight scenes are shot. I don't know who the director is on this. Right, but those it camera was the way were the just, way it was fucking shot. It, it, was, it went from like it was smooth like th- cam, shaky it was cam, like steady person, cam. It was third person video game. It was. It really yeah. was. It was like when you play a video game, you're following behind the guy the whole time. That's what the shots were like. Because like when he's on scenes. the ground and he gets up, the, the oh, camera goes oh, from oh, side angle them. to up. You almost with get him. motion sickness. And then when you when they're like doing the flips and shit, it's like follow, the camera's actually flipping, flipping with, with them. Yeah. It was a Very great awesome. fucking movie. Yes. I mean, beautifully shot. I loved it. Well, I yeah. can't wait to see another movie by that guy. By so then guy. he kills said bad guy. Killer number one. Killer number one. Public enemy number one. And he listens to his phone, and he finds out that the billionaire guy hired these guys. Knock off Jared Jer Leto. To kill his wife and then paralyze him. So Not kill him. Paralyze him. Because paralyze he was the perfect him. specimen for STEM. Yes. What makes him the perfect specimen, though? Because, Body type. like I said before, he was against technology, so he had nothing inside of him. Yeah, he was He clean. had no chips, nothing. You know, how all those guys had chips. Okay. So he was a clean dude. He was the perfect specimen. So we find this out. So he goes to the billionaire's house to fucking whack him. Don't whack him. Because then Stem will never be taken away from him, and he is responsible for his wife's murder. Well, Stem said he wants him dead because I'm the only one that can make another one. Yeah. Right. And the cops there... Obviously, so there's like a Mexican standoff, <laughs> and then Stem once again takes over and beats the fuck out of the cop. Yes, and he can't control Stem now. He's trying to. He's trying. He's but trying. He he's like, you're not in control, and he's moving his arm as he's shooting the gun, and he's just missing the cop. Blah blah blah. And then shit gets real. He cracks. He cracks. He He starts taking control over Stem, and he points the gun at himself, and and he pulls the trigger. (laughs) Flashback to back in the hospital right after the accident. He's moving his hands. He's still not, he's not paralyzed. His wife walks in. You're like, oh, fuck, was it a dream the whole time? Right, like, what the fuck's going on here? And then it cuts back. Flashback. To Stem, who has absolute control. Complete, because he was waiting for him. And earlier in the mor- movie, he says, "As long I can't get into your memories. But he unlocks them. Mm-hmm. He cracked. If, if, he cra- if he went insane, Stem can 
work his way in, basically, to his brain. So STEM just sent him to a alternate reality, basically, in the Matrix. So he's living in a fantasy world. Yeah, he's where he's happy with his wife again. He's happy with his wife. He knows none the different. So is it that bad? That STEM has control of his body, full control, which then STEM does kill the billionaire. STEM kills the billionaire and which kills. Which can never make another STEM, and no one will know that STEM and is actually living in his the body. Cop. <laughs> and kills and the cop. And then walks off. And walks off with full control as you know what the AI in the world. You know what the ending reminded me of? Have you ever seen the movie Repo Men? Yeah. Yes. So, like, half of the, the back half of that movie means nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they got in the fight scene, and then, like, the thing keeps going on and on and on and on. Right. And he gets with that girl, they end up saving. And then it flashes back to, like, halfway into the movie, and, like, None of that even <laughs> half of the movie didn't even really happen. It was all in his fucking head. So yeah. that's what it reminded me of, hundred percent. So th- I do like the movie. The fact that it's not a happy ending. The the machine the bad wins. Guy, the bad, the guy, bad wins. guy wins. Which you find out STEM made the billionaire do all of this from the jump. From the jump. So he picked that guy. Made the billionaire, the mechanic set up, guy, the main his guy, wife, and making putting that chip. He in set the head. all this shit in motion. So he was tapping into the billionaire. He the, he made the billionaire hire those guys to kill his wife and paralyze him. So and he then could have a body. That's when Sean was saying when they were when he was at the hospital, he was like super uncomfortable and like weird because Stem was yeah. talking to him in his earpiece about what to say. How to get him to... to this was his plan all along. Yes. So Stem could get a body and be a free person in the world with no strings. No strings. And he accomplishes his mission and becomes an AI monster in society, which I would love to see if they go ahead further and show oh, what he does. Fucking Them try to take him down or something. Guess what's going to happen? He's going to be president. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those movies where it's like... It was it was so perfect. Just just end it. Yeah. Yes. Like yeah. the Joker. Okay, the Joker was amazing, right? Yeah. There is already a sequel coming yep. out. I'm scared to death of it. I'm because the expectations are going to be so high. I'm literally. Sh- I'm, I'm dreading it. Yeah. Well, I hope it's going to be good. That's the thing, though. Your expectations is what brings it down. It's how many times that you feel you watch a movie and you're like, I can't wait. It's going to be so good. And then you watch it, you're like, eh. But if you were to just turn it on. That's why I like finding these gems. Because right, it's like, like I don't have any expectations. Well, I of did it. see the preview for this a long right, time ago. But, but I do like when you're just like scrolling through HBO or Netflix and you're like, oh, this looks all right. You have no expectations, and it turns out to be right. My favorite thing is when you just amazing. turn the TV on and watch whatever's on, because you end up finding a movie that's actually good. You're like, "What the fuck was that called?" Like, <laughs> shit, that was good. Right? What was that movie? The Teddy. Because you had no. Exp- it was great. Yes. <laughs> Please tell me what <laughs> Teddy did it. Teddy. So now we're gonna rate this movie. <sighs> it's. We need to find. We need to get some kind of. I don't know. Maybe the listeners, listeners can help us out. We need to find some type of criteria where yeah. we can separate yeah. it between like acting, ten shots. I mean, the movie, the movie can get graded. Acting can get graded. Maybe like story. Yeah, there's I'm because there's so many directing. levels of this shit. Because I, I nostalgia wise, there's so many shitty movies that right. I like. That you know, Frankie was about to give fucking the Fast and Furious a goddamn ten. I love it. <laughs> what is this fucking Casablanca? I love it. <laughs> Citizen Kane. Yeah, come on now. So there needs to be criteria so we can so, break this down to do our fucking. I want to do like a movie spreadsheet. Yeah, this this movie had l- limited. Uh, Action plot holes. A ton. Story. Very yeah. limited plot holes in the movie. I mean, there was besides the coffin scene. Yeah, there, there's there's a couple scenes that are you're you're like Man, you didn't need to do that or it wasn't. I mean, the acting. I mean, maybe well, like the, in, the problem is is the, the main guy the main gave him a was fucking the, ten. Was, was the yeah. best out of all of them. All the rest of them were really right. The cop was like a fucking even the villain just out of fucking. The mother looked like it was probably the director's mom, and you just wanted to put <laughs> right. her in a movie. Come on, mom, I gotta, yeah. I'm gonna put you in. I mean, I made it. Bugging me for years. Yeah, the the, vi- the villains acting. I mean, Rat Boy. Yeah, the billionaire was. Uh, yeah, it, I I give everybody the, the main actor gets gets a, a solid nine. 
Yeah. Because of just how the the body motion and yeah the. From paraplegic to yeah. he played it ass very kicking, well. yeah. yes, especially and like those fucking fight scenes. Yeah. And the comic of the of the of the not wanting to hurt people but still doing well, it. Oh, the first like, fight yeah. scene! Oh, he's like, oh, oh first god, fight scene. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And the way that he can move his body like he was a yeah, ninja, like his, and like to his, keep his head looking like yeah, like his head was scared. behind. Yes, I love that. And like there his head go. was behind his the rest of his body, right? Too. Because he was just like struggling to catch up. Like, yeah. what, what, what am I doing? What, what am I doing? Yes. Like I said, no, I, no, no. I just it was some, it was some of the best physical acting I've seen since like Bruce Campbell in Evil Dead, it was really where he's kicking yeah. the shit out of himself yeah. with the plates <laughs> yeah. and yeah, it's it's really good acting. Uh, action scenes, it's a ten. I mean, those. Action, oh yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean that's uh, what I'm saying. Like, I, how I do take we, that how back. Do, I how do we that break back. this down? I take that back. The action scenes, I give it eight because the chase scene in the car was kind of shit. Yeah, that could have been the, way. The yeah, it could have been way better. Yeah, for way sure. Way better. And you know the the f- scene where the car flips and slides down. You know, when, you know the cool the cool shot was the inside of the car where he wasn't in right. his seatbelt and kind of flops. Yeah, and the car, like I said, yeah. the camera, camera angles, angles, the way they yeah. did it, it, it went with the car. Awesome. But the the fight scenes, the the murder scenes, are all off the charts. I mean. Crazy gory, but crazy. It's where if I mean it's we just ruined watch. it for you, but go yeah. ahead and watch it. <laughs> Experience it for yourself. Because it's not a movie that like. I mean, it's not like a Transformers no. or a. You know, it wasn't a big budget film. It was no. story wise, an amazing fucking movie. Story wise, it's it's somewhat easy to. Even though we ruined it, it's worth a watch. It's yes. somewhat easy to roll with on the story. The story, I give like a seven. It's, I do, it's yeah. A good, yeah, it's a good. It's, it's, a good it's been order. done. It's 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 it's. A, uh, it's I'd give it, it an eight. Like a, I'd give it an eight just for the, just for the actual end where he actually he, yeah, won. Right. You know, yeah, yes. maybe the, bump the, it up one. Yeah, the villain, le- the villain winning over everything else. Yeah. If it would have ended with him actually dreaming, yeah, I would have given it a fucking six. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like what? So, so all just in his head, like right. I would have been like the cinematography. It's a ten. Yes. Oh yeah, it, oh, it's yes. off the charts. Some of the best camera work I've seen in a long time, and uh, I mean I can't really say soundtracks. The music there's very minimal music in it. Yeah, yeah. but in in overall, it's I give it a solid seven. I mean I I would I, say seven too. It's I can't I really can't, that low overall. I would well, say seven. Well, I was surprised. Well, it got yeah. an eighty-seven on Rotten Tomatoes. So yeah, I would eighty-seven say percent, which is so it's it's. A, it's a legit seven or eight. I'd give it eight shots. I'd give it. I'm gonna give it a seven point five just because of the intangibles, the other shit, like the main character, that story arc, all that was awesome. Yeah. But the other stuff was kind of sloppy. So I'm trying to think. Like of the other I, acting. The yeah, other, the yeah, other yeah. acting. The, the that's j- why we need different criteria to judge this shit out. The Jared Leto knockoff guy. I it, think, though, out of full enjoyment of the movie. No, enjo- it's, an, it's, it's, a, it's an eight. enjoyable movie. Yes, I enjoyed it. For yeah, sure. I would definitely. I it, would give this an eight. It's got, it's got a good rewatch value. I would give it an eight. And I did rewatch it. So, <laughs> two eights and a 7.5. Hey, that's pretty fucking good. I mean that's good for a movie, movie that's not very that like, no one popular. fucking knows. I mean no one saw it but me until I showed yeah. you guys. <laughs> but hey, HBO picked it up. Yeah, it was. So if you have HBO or HBO Go or HBO Now, check it out. Check that shit for out for sure. It's fucking amazing. All right, I love it. So and a, two eights and a seven point five for Upgrade. Hello. Came out in two thousand eighteen. Give it a look. It's it's very good. It's a very good movie. Surprise. I liked it a lot. All right. So for Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thanks for listening to TGD Spoils or watching us on YouTube. We'll be back next week. You all have a uh, great Thanksgiving. Peace. Because this is what <laughs> this is coming out. This Thanksgiving week. Do your turkey <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> and on that, we're out. Frankie's favorite.